planted in Russia, so that's why the Nazis muscled into Romania, a country full of pansies and pushovers and oil. Romania's oil is Hitler's last hope. And this is Romania, bounded on the south by the river Danube, which is brown and not blue, and by the Black Sea in the east. And Yugoslavia lies in the west of Romania, and Hungary to the northwest, and Russia on the northeast. And through the center of Romania run the Carpathian Mountains, high, rugged, and heavily wooded. In the foothills lie the Romanian oil fields. And these wells can produce six million tons of oil a year if you squeeze them, and the Nazis know how to squeeze. From the fields, the crude oil is pumped to the refineries of Campina, Brazi, and Ploesti. Now, the object of this operation that we call soap suds is to choke off the flow of that Romanian oil to the Nazis. And the quickest and surest way to do that job is by the destruction of the refineries by low-level bombing. You men have been selected to do this job. So let's keep our eyes on the ball during this briefing. We've screwed up this deal once. Let's make it work this time. The Romanian refineries will be attacked and destroyed according to this plan. The bombers assigned to this deal will assemble in the Benghazi area. Their job is to carry out a low-level dusk attack on the Romanian refineries bunched in the Ploesti area. You will fly from Benghazi to Corfu, crossing the Greek coast at between 15,000 and 20,000 feet, according to the flight plan. And at Corfu, you will change course to cross the Danube at Dobri Dal, crossing the river at approximately 15,000 feet. We are bringing you in over Corfu because the radar is not so hot at that point. And besides, Corfu makes a good landmark. And from Dobri Dal, you will steer course in formation for Pateshti. Here at Pateshti, the whole formation will break up into three separate forces. Red, white, and blue. Red force will swing northeast from Pateshti, heading for the large and distinctive mountains on the left-hand side of the Brozhov ploeshti Pass completing the turn south of Sonoya, a Romanian holiday resort. The bombers will run down the valley into Campana and bomb the red target. The red target is the Storia Romana refinery, the second largest in Romania. Let's see how the course will look on the half million map. The first hour at the top of the hump marks the turn south at Sonoya to the second hour, which is the target the Storia Romana refinery. And coming along the valley, all the planes must let down in order to attack at a low level. And white and blue force will proceed from Pateshti to five miles north of Floreshti, as shown by the dotted line on the map. And there, both formations will turn in the manner shown on the screen for the run-up. White force heads for the targets at Floreshti. Blue force heads for the targets at Brazi. All objectives are to be bombed at a low level. Section one of the White Force will attack the Romano Americano refinery. And section two of the White Force will attack Concordia Vega. And section three of the White Force will attack the Uniria Petrol Block refinery. And section four of the White Force will attack the Astra Orion refinery, the most vital target of the lot. And section five of the White Force will attack Columbia refinery. And Blue Force will turn west of Ploeshti along the dotted line to attack Creditolminia refinery at Brazi. This is the blue target. Now remember, we are looking east on the screen here. We have not yet turned for the run-up. The lines on the screen show the lines of your run-up. The trip home will be made by the shortest possible route, avoiding Bucharest. Because the Romanian oil fields are located in the foothills of the Carpathian Mountains, the refineries for those oil fields are at Campana, Ploesti, and Brazi. The refinery at Campana is the second largest in Romania, and it's situated in the foothills of the Carpathians. The refinery at Campana is the most modern plant and is easily identified by the mountain pass between Ploesti and Brazov and also with a tarred road and railway. What the refinery and village of Campana look like? We call it the Red Target. Note the refinery, which has a ring, a wall around it. Note well also the road and the valley 
and the railroad. And now let's have a look at Ploesti, which is the main refining town in Romania, containing 11 refineries. Many of these refineries are obsolete. We are only attacking the principal refineries. Ploesti, from the angle of run-up, as you see, is easily identified by the following three features. The diamond-shaped railway, which encircles the town, the pattern of this railway and with a large number of marshalling yards. And by the refineries which you are going to set alight. These are your targets. The target for white one. The target white two. The target, white three. The target, white four. The target, white five. Another good identification is the large avenue with trees on either side. This checkpoint will be useful for those forces attacking targets white three and four. And these are the refineries which you are not going to attack. They are not worth a bomb. Not this one. Not this one. Nor this one. And not this one. Nine miles south of Ploesti, alongside the Ploesti Bucharest Railroad, is the Creditor Menia refinery at Brazi, the blue target. Now, this is a modern plant, and the best landmark for this is the railroad between Ploesti and Bucharest. This is Brazi, the blue target. Now, you must hit the vital refinery parts on the nose, and these are the vital parts. First, these are the cracking plants, marked Y on the plans. In outward appearance, they are similar to distillation plants. In these, fuel oil is broken up into high quality gasoline. Second, the distillation plants. They are marked X on your plans. They are distinguishable by the fractioning columns. The tower-like steel structures, some of them 70 feet high and about 10 feet in diameter. And third, the boiler house marked W on plans and photographs. They are usually a brick with tall brick chimneys, which are the source of the steam power essential for the running of the refineries. Now these parts will have been camouflaged and they may have nets over them. They will also have been bricked in for protection. So they may look quite different to the photos on the screen. Now let's see what the Germans have done to arrange the defenses of this vital target. And happily for the Nazis, they have been out of range for us. The Nazis know that. And so the defenses are nothing like as strong here as they are on the Western Front. The fighter defenses of Ploesti are not strong. And the majority of the fighters will be flown by Romanian pilots who are thoroughly bored with the war. 